Hey everyone, in today's lesson we're going to talk about the one-handed backhand and how you can finish with your feet. And there's a lot of, well actually I was giving a lesson the other day at the time of this shooting and I was working on someone's forehand and he had no awareness of how he should be finishing. In fact, when he was swinging on the forehand, he would swing and by the time he was done, this foot had come completely forward like this. So he would step in and he would come forward, right? So in another video, we'll go into that forehand concept, but in today's video, I'm going to talk about the backhand, especially when the ball is, is in the lateral part of the court, when it pulls you out wide. I'm going to take you over to this part of the court and give you a clear, a clear sense on what needs to happen in order to hit solid backhands. Now, recently I had a student send me a video all the way from the great state of Tennessee and this player is a 3.5, he wants to be a 4.0 and when he showed me the videos he basically runs across, okay, or actually he does shuffle a little bit but he runs across and when he finishes this is basically his finish right here. His back is almost facing the net, his back is almost facing the side fence, right? But what he needs to do is he has to learn to square up. Okay, so whether he shuffles and hits and then squares up, or whether he runs across the court and then squares up, he needs to find this position at the end. Okay, so you're going to see in our lessons the same concepts weave together over and over again. And I'm going to repeat this right now and I'm going to repeat it in another lesson. It's all about position, 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 right? At the end of the stroke, where's your position? At the beginning of the stroke, where's your position? If you can learn body awareness and position, you can change your tennis and keep improving for the next 60 years. I guarantee it. You might get a little bit slower when you're 80 years old, but you're going to have an understanding that is unmatched. Okay, so what you want to do is I'm going to shuffle on this one. You're going to shuffle out, you're going to step in, and then at the end you're going to square up. Now let's look at this square up right here. Notice how my base is pretty wide. My shoulders, uh, excuse me, my feet are slightly outside my shoulders in an athletic stance. And the other thing I want you to notice, and we've done this in a free video on YouTube before, is I'm in what's called a horse stance. Notice that my butt is not sticking back, okay? Notice that uh, my, t my tail is tucked forward. This is called horse stance in Tai Chi. So this is the position that you want to be in. If you were to swing and come around, I'll just come right here so you can see this. You want to be in this position at the end of the swing. You don't want to be here, right? I see that all the time, like that baby got back video big butt sticking back, you don't want that. You want to you want to tuck the tail, all right? The other thing I see is when people square up, they're on their toes. Okay? So they're they're leaning forward, they're off their toes. Now, you're going to hear a lot of coaches say, you know, stay on your toes, stay on the balls of your feet. Of course, you got to be nimble right here. See how nimble that is? I'm nimble. I'm on my I'm on the balls of my feet. I'm not on my heels. But when I finish the stroke, I'm solid as a rock. I'm not up on my toes. I'm not leaning forward because if you do, the quality of, sh of the shot is going to greatly decrease. So what you want to do is you want to hit the ball and you want to feel like you're in that horse stance. Very, very rock solid. Okay? So I'm going to do a demonstration here. I'm going to hit a couple. I'm going to show you that wide base.